friends, welcome back to the Learning Lounge. You're just in time. We just got a Mia mail from another one of our expert friends. Let's read it together. Dear Jenna, Together we learned that people create rules and systems to live by. We learned that sometimes people disagree and sometimes people work together. This is what's known as conflict and cooperation. Today I'm sending you on a special mission to learn about this. Check your backpack. Have fun! Polly the Politician Ooh! Another mission! I am so excited! Polly's letter mentioned conflict and cooperation. Have you had to work together or cooperate with others even when it was tough? Have you ever helped solve a big problem or conflict by working together? It sounds like we're going to learn about those things today. I wonder how. Oh, let's check out our backpack. Oh, wow! Look at this! A toy rocket! Three, two, one, blast off! <laughs> Wait, where are we? NASA? NASA is a super cool place where scientists and engineers come together to study space and send rockets zooming into the stars. Listen, can you hear all those scientists busy at work? Oh, and check this out! What do you notice about these newspapers? This one looks like it's from 1969. That's weird. What's a newspaper from 1969 doing here? Friends, it looks like we've traveled to NASA in the past. What does this newspaper tell us about what's going on in this time period? It seems like these two countries, the United States and the Soviet Union, are in a big conflict. But not the kind of conflict with fighting and weapons. They are racing to see who can make it to space first. This conflict, called the Space Race, was about proving who was the best, most innovative country in the world. And when you're in a competition, you pull together a team of hard-working friends and really push yourself to achieve something great. That's cooperation. And that's what's happening here at NASA. I bet if we're careful and quiet, we can take a look around. Come on! Ooh, look at this room! Oh, it looks like they are keeping track of important events on this board here. It's a timeline! What is the timeline showing us? You know, examples of conflict and cooperation, like the ones we see here on this timeline of the space race, exist throughout history. Different examples of people disagreeing and working together connect to make the story of the past. Oh, look friends! President Kennedy made a bold promise to land an American on the moon by 1970. We're in 1969 now. What do you think? Will they make it? Let's keep moving to see if we can find out. <laughs> Whoa! Map Central? 
Time to look through our geography lens. Why were these two places, the U.S. and the Soviet Union, in such conflict? These two countries are on opposite sides of the world, with their own unique types of government and cultures. These differences shaped their view of the world and their place in it. Being so far apart made it easier for them to see each other as rivals. But inside their borders, people worked together like never before during the space race. Differences in where and how people live can lead to both conflict and cooperation. Okay, friends, let's keep exploring. Huh, it looks like we've ended up in some kind of office. Look what's on the desk. Do you know what these are? Job applications. Time to look through our economy lens. Jobs help communities and countries function. People with special skills do different kinds of jobs every day. There are so many jobs out there, but if the USA is trying to win the space race, what kind of jobs do you think these people are applying for at NASA? What kind of workers, skills, and ideas are needed to send people flying toward the moon? It wasn't just astronauts. Engineers, scientists, mathematicians, and even people who helped create the food you can eat in space were all needed to help make missions possible. It shows us how times of conflict and cooperation can create lots of interesting new jobs. It's amazing how big challenges like exploring space can lead to the creation of new and exciting jobs. What kind of job would you be excited to do for such a mission? Okay, let's go this way. Wait, friends, look at this! Now we're in a 1960s living room. Oh, shh. Let's pay attention. Um, uh, at the foot of the ladder, the lamb footbeds are only uh, uh, depressed in the surface about uh, one or two inches, uh, although the surface appears to be uh, very, very fine-grained as you get close to it. It's almost like a powder. Friends, this is what those scientists at NASA were working on. The moon landing! Do you remember wondering if President Kennedy's daring promise would come true? Well, here in 1969, American Neil Armstrong is making history as the very first person to walk on the moon. Imagine being there, watching it on TV. I'm gonna step off the lamp now. People were amazed, even with the grainy black and white image. Can you imagine the excitement and wonder? Can you imagine how people might have been inspired by the moon landing? What do you notice about the movies, art, music, and technology seen here? The moon landing wasn't just a big step for the people at NASA, it was a giant leap for American culture. After seeing a man walk on the moon, suddenly space wasn't just a far-off mystery. It sparked dreams and ideas. It fueled creativity in books, movies, music, and art. 
It led to the invention of new gadgets we now use every single day. Isn't it amazing how conflict and cooperation can lead to cultural changes? Oh, here we are back at the Learning Lounge. I know, Mia, we did disappear. <laughs> Polly's rocket took us to NASA in 1969. We have lots to tell you. The lenses of social studies helped us understand the idea of conflict and cooperation. Let's write back to Polly with the big idea from our learning today. Dear Polly, at NASA, we looked through the lenses to learn more about conflict and cooperation. We learned that conflict and cooperation exist throughout history and can affect how people live and work together. Differences in where and how people live can lead to conflict and cooperation. And Conflict and cooperation can affect jobs and lead to cultural changes. Thanks for the challenge! From Jenna and Friends. Whoa, friends! Look at this picture Mia found in a book here in the Learning Lounge. Just six short years after the moon landing, the U.S. and Soviet space programs worked together on a mission. They cooperated. Even after conflict, people can realize that working together will help everyone achieve their goals. What a great day using the lenses of social studies. Hey, we're getting pretty good at this. I can't wait to see what's in store for us next time. Hey.